Good morning, YouTube. It is 4.05 on this Tuesday. Uh, <clears throat> today's topic is the Hemolink. Oh, way too early for that Higgs chromosome to space the electrons like the magnetism of particles and momentum to receptors, radiation, or mathematics, a solution, asteroid. What am I doing up? <clears throat> so what is a hemolink? Hemolink is a it's a golf ball sized device um, that when you put it on your skin on your on your skin somewhere um, it'll it'll suck the blood right out of you actually is what it's gonna do hemolink hemo for hemoglobin blood um, but it does it without a needle which is nice right a lot of people don't like needles and so this company decided to make a device that would be able to extract blood from your body without using a needle um, <clears throat> now it doesn't pull very much blood it pulls about 0.15 cc's of blood which is you know, it's it's like very little but it's enough to if you send it off to the lab it's enough to check your cholesterol level, your blood sugar level, oh, uh, yeah, with that much blood you can tell if you have cancer cells. It does one other check too, and I don't remember what it is, but, um, <clears throat> again, he does it without using a needle. You put it on your skin, uh, the face is probably a bad spot, let's say, let's say you put it on your hand, and you leave it there for two minutes, and it'll extract the blood. What's it doing? Um, so in the device, it looks like it looks like it looks like a little hockey puck, really. Um, but it, it's white. Actually, it looks like an easy button is what it looks like. A little mini easy button. It's, it's white on the outside. There's a red button on it. Put it on your skin. Leave it for two minutes. It pulls the blood out. Um, it does so by using a vacuum inside the device. So when you put it on your skin, the vacuum starts <clears throat> starts sucking at your skin. And what it's using, it's using um, <clears throat> it's using capillary action actually. So the the vacuum is pulling the liquid out pulling your blood out of uh, small fissures in your skin. Uh, you you know, the device won't it won't pick it won't poke you it won't cut you or anything like that it just it uses the natural break in your skin uh, to draw that blood out. Again, it takes two minutes, so it's not a quick thing, but it's painless. There's there's no needle stick. Um, <clears throat> it's a fairly cheap device, a couple bucks here or there. Um, they are trying to develop it so that the blood that it holds lasts longer. Uh, so it's really in its beta phase. It's in its developmental phase. Oh, uh, but it's fairly cheap because it's you know there's only six pieces to it. Um, create creating the device is fairly easy. It uses plastic injection molding. Uh, which is a really cheap way of making stuff. So, <clears throat> so there you go. Um, there really isn't much more to say about it. Fairly short topic here. <laughs> uh, I don't particularly like needles. Um, you know, when I when I got my tattoo, that was that was a, several hours of needlework that I don't need to get into anymore. I get blood regularly, and those needles are not fond of, but I'll sit through it. Um, this device, again, at 0.15 cc's of blood, that's not very much blood. You're not going to be giving blood with this method uh, unless you cover yourself with these with these little hemolinks, and you know they start pulling blood out of you. It's not very efficient, but if you want basic tests, like you know blood sugar, cholesterol, and all that business, um, it can be used for that, so. 
All right, I gotta get to work. You gotta go do whatever it is you do. Um, we'll talk to you tomorrow.